Hello everyone and welcome back to Dream Daddy. Hope you're all doing well. I'm doing quite well myself. Today we are going to go on the third date with Hugo Vega, the little sweetheart. Yesterday I was kind of really upset with the whole Joseph ending that he went back to uh, Mary. But apparently it's actually a glitch. They haven't actually uh, fixed it for the right ending just yet. So unfortunately we'll, we'll never get the good ending with Joseph for now. That's okay. Uh, let's move on to someone who does appreciate us, which is Hugo. Yes, I'm sure. Ooh, I'm excited. Ever since the first night of, of Char Cutie Pies, Hugo and I have made a point of weekly visits to Trivia Night. Easy Breezy Beautiful has come in first place ever since, despite Provolone 2, lost in New York's continual efforts to dethrone us. I've been able to do a complete overhaul of the interior of my car thanks to all of Phil's auto care gift cards we've received. Air fresheners, car chargers, you name it. Amanda's riding in the lap of luxury. Aside from the tribute nights, I, I don't actually get to see Hugo a lot. The end of school year is coming up and he seems to be having a lot of trouble dealing with the stress of teaching. I should do something nice for him. Maybe help him take his mind off screaming teenagers? Books. He likes books. But I would have no idea where to even start with that. He probably reads more books in a month than I've read in the past year. I know. He's really into wrestling, and but he's been working to talk about it since he showed me his wrestling room. Mm, I know he's kind of shy about it, but maybe... Whatever. Let's roll the dice. I think I have a plan. What are we going to do? Alright, hey hey, alright folks, looks like we finally got the points tallied and we're ready to announce our winner. You know who else is a winner? Me, because I've finally seen just how beautiful and loving my wife is. A few weeks ago, all the regular stage and intervention for Quizmaster Quinn. We sat down in a circle and told him that we wanted to see him be better and love himself. He agreed to start going to couples therapy with his wife, and last time he told us they adopted a dog together. I love you forever, my Quizmaster Quinn. Queen? I can't tell which version of Quizmaster Quinn I prefer. Hmm. There were things to like and dislike about both, huh? And the winner is... For the fourth week in a row, Easy Breezy Beautiful! Oh. You can I cheers our small slices of camembert and go up to accept our gift card. That an uncomfortably long hug from Queen Master Quinn. Uh, all that cheese is probably going to my waist. Easy, breezy, beautiful. Rain be as long as wonderful as my marriage to my beautiful wife. Oh. We make our celebrity round of high fives to the rest of the teams and sit down to finish our cheese board, saving every last bite of burrata with pesto and slices of tomato. Hey, I got a surprise for you. Oh. For me? Yes. And once it isn't more cheese. Ah. Well, if you think you can somehow top that, be my guest. I pull out a book I've been carefully hiding in one of my pockets and slide it over to Hugo. Oh. Oh. Hugo picks up a box of the book and reads the title aloud. Um. Harry Butt's Crapper Keeper? I wanted to get you a book, but I figured you probably already own every classical piece of literature, so uh, I thought this would be fun. For when you're pooping. Hmm. What? You should flip through it. Hugo looks at me and raises an eyebrow. After flipping through a couple of pages, he finally comes across a small gift that's strategically hidden inside. Oh. You're kidding me. Hugo looks around, worried that he made a scene. He leans in. Oh. You're kidding me. Hugo pulls out the wrestling tickets that hid inside the crapper keeper. This is the World Federation Wrestling Power Slam Series. You've been working so hard, lady. I thought you'd like him. Like him? Mm. I... I love this. Thank you. But wait, there's two? Yeah, I figured we'd go together. Huh? You'd go with me? Heck yeah. I need you to explain the funner points of wrestling to me, though. Hugo gets up and walks around the table, and everything picks me up in a big bear hug. Oh, that's so sweet. Has he been this strong the whole time? Mm. Thank you. I love a little squeak of sort of say, you're welcome. It's now the power of Hugo, what are you wearing? Hugo, what are you wearing? What is this, Hugo? That's the night of the Paris of Hugo shows up my door with a loud, oversized wrestling tee. He's a little blushy and extremely cute. Oh, he is actually. We drive for about an hour to another city for the big event. Hugo spends the entire day teaching me the basics of wrestling and terminology I need to know. So, it's fake, right? Hmm. Well, yes and no. While wrestling and the act of hurting another wrestler is fake, the work requires remarkable athleticism and oftentimes results in actual injury. Those people are getting hurt, sure, but on the way we were led to believe. Historically, wrestling as we know it today was created by carnival workers to fix gambling, and the people who believed it would be real and would bet on these matches were called marks. That we know that technically fake, 
but still chooses to suspend her disbelief, makes us smarks. Smart marks. So, I should be watching this for the acrobatics. Oh. And the tension. And the drama. And even the storylines. I think that anything or anyone can tell a good story. You just look for the story. Even if something like we're experienced will tell a phenomenal, sometimes understated story, despite a ridiculous premise. Wow. Ah. What? I just really would have paid you for a huge wrestling fan. <sighs> Nobody does. I get it. I'm the button-down teacher type. I like poetry and art history. I write dissertations on heavy tomes by Russian authors for fun. Tomes? But I like wrestling. It's a big part of who I am, but because it's considered kind of low bro, I feel like I can't share with anybody because they'll make just make fun of me for it. Till now. You can smile to himself. Oh. Till now. Hey. You can I enter the stadium or direct to the upper level. After grabbing some snacks, we make our way to a set of stairs. The further up we go, my heart sinks. I had thought we had gotten good seats, but at this point the ring looks like a postage stamp. We finally settle into our spots and wait for the match to start. Ah, I'm sorry, I thought I got us tickets on a lower level. Look over to Hugo, who apparently didn't even hear me. He's vibrating with excitement. Oh, he looks so cute! He's so, like, energetic about it. This is so cool! I guess he doesn't mind. I have to admit, I've been too embarrassed to come to one of these since I was a kid. What's there to be embarrassed about? Everyone here loves wrestling. Plus, who are we going to see that we know? We're like an hour out of Maple Bay. I guess you're right. So what do we do have to look forward to tonight? Oh, oh man, the lineup is stacked. All of the matches are going to be great, but the one I'm really looking forward to is the Eastern Dragons match. The Eastern Dragon? Yeah, he used to wrestle as Pablo Escobar, but I think he eventually had to change it. Um. Wrestler names are weird. He actually an Iranian guy from Utah. Oh, so that's what your shirt's from? Yep, I've been following this guy since his debut in an indie wrestling league, and it's been amazing seeing him rise through the ranks into the professionals. Well, who's he up against? The corporate shill. Technique-wise, I don't think he's that good of a wrestler, and I don't even think the fans like him. Certainly an interesting character, though. Oh! Same lights dim and the crowd starts screaming. But Rock blasts through the sound system and some pyrotechnics set off the alarm set off around the ring. Ladies and gentlemen! Ladies and gentlemen of the sold-out crowd in Mill Creek, Massachusetts! Woo! Ready to power slam! You can I scream. We watch the two wrestlers, the Southern Dandy and Jon Snow, and walk out even more butt rock. The Southern Dandy mixes and, dr and drinks a mint julep in the ring before the match. The crowd eats it up. The Southern Dandy's from Maine. Is Johnny Snowman not from the North Pole? Mm -hmm. He's from Georgia, actually. After a long match, Johnny Snowman, who's dressed up like a muscular elf, does what Hugo calls the German suplex on the Southern Dandy. Uh, let's just save it. Okay. Uh, kill him, Johnny. Uh, nope, that didn't work. Let's go back. I want to get, like, the good ending. Um, this is amazing. I don't know what's happening, but this is amazing. Oh, he liked that. Did you see what this guy did to the other guy's face? Is he okay? Are they going to be okay? Mm -hmm. Wrestling is a kind of sport of communication. All of these guys train together to know not only how to perform moves, but how to respond to them. It lets them to look like they're being hurt. But only be kind of hurt. Okay, so we've seen that one. So let's go back and do... The top one? I don't think the top one's going to be it anyway. I think he's just like the little hearts. Do, 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 do. Oh, he really liked that one. Okay. You're not wrong. Oh. Wrestling is a sport of communication. All of these guys train together to know not only how to perform moves, but how to respond to them. It allows them to look like they're being hurt, but only be kind of hurt. The card cheers as Johnny Snowman pins the Danny Salmon and it's the winner. The next match features a wrestler named Generation Y2K, who comes out looking like a hipster barista. He takes selfies with fans on the way to the ring and pauses after every one to post on Instagram. He's really playing up the millennial thing, huh? He's sort of the boogeyman to old-timer wrestler fans. His opponent, the old-timer, walks out. Oh. The crowd seems to be divided in who they are rooting for. The old-timer pulls some sweetie peak moves after he takes out a walking cane from under the stage and beats Generation Y2K over the head with it. Up against the ropes, Generation Y2 King blinds the old with a flash on his camera phone and is able to pin him with the match. He takes a celebratory selfie with his unconscious opponent. During a break, Hugo and I get to leave to get refills for the concession stand. We wind our way through the clusters of wrestling fans to get to the line. Oh, it looks so really cute here. It's like a Comic Con or something like that. So what do you think so far? Um, let's save it. Um, I'm glad I'm here with you. Wrestling is cool, but I'm really like seeing you so enthusiastic. It's... Don't see hot, don't see hot. Cool. Oh. Oh, he really liked that one. You know, I'm kind of surprised. 
I was sort of expecting the crowd to be just a bunch of aggressive, sweaty older guys, but it's so diverse. We've even seen a bunch of families with their kids. Everyone looks super happy to be here. Hey. Oh yeah, that's how I got into wrestling. When I was a kid, my dad used to take me and my brothers to rest to matches all the time. There's one gaggle of kids lettering in the corner that I exceptionally doubt. Even over the din of the stadium, looking closer, I cannot feel like these kids seem familiar. Oh god, I know these kids. They're Hugo students. Oh, so, don't turn around when I tell you this, but some of your students are here? Hugo immediately tenses up. Oh my god, I can't have them see me here. They'll never listen to me again, ever again. I've seen myself seeing the kids in Hugo, hoping that I can act as a human shield. Gets over the group chin and recognizes that Colin kid. Kicks one of his friends in the shin and laughs. Man, that Colin kid is a piece of work. Colin? If he sees me here, he'll never let it go. He's a master manipulator. We have to get back to the relative safety of our seats. What's the plan? Um, let's save here. Uh, let's just walk back to our seats. I think the best strategy here is just plain hide sight. Be casual, be super casual, just walk away and no one will say anything either. Are you sure that'll work? Like a charm. You can I just start walking towards the door with Colin and friends are so busy throwing guards here, they don't notice. Wow, that was easy. You can I sit down and breathe a huge sigh of relief. Phew, that was close. Should I go back and just double check to see if there's a good, better one that we can get? Uh, okay, diversion. Do, 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 do. It's working on the people who need to do. Quick, think of something. Uh, do a cartwheel. Okay, that's that one. He didn't get any hearts. Okay. Oh no 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 I need to I need to I need to go back to this one. Nope 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 I keep lying the same save it's this one this one's the one I need to go to okay Sneaky mission. Okay, sneaky mission, gotta go sneaking blah blah blah. Perfect we just need to get he just lowered down, it's so cute. Um uh, duck under the uh quick and some measure. What? There's no time to spend, just trust me. Oh, that was a good one! I lift my shirt and pull it over Hugo, his body flushed against my chest. I start shuffling us towards the door. Hugo will stare at us, but nobody can tell it's Hugo. At this point Hugo's nest is just against the actually kinda nice. Once we get close to the ring, he shimmies out of my shirt. Well it worked, somehow. Hugo and I sit down and breathe a huge sigh of relief. Phew, that was close. Now we can hide out for the rest of the night and enjoy ourselves in the comfort of anonymity within the large cloud. Oh. Lights dim again. This is the match we've been waiting for. The corporate chill walks out of the other music. He's wearing a three-piece suit and sunglasses. Once he gets to the ring, he takes off his sunglasses and rips the sleeve off his suit jacket, flexing his arms with the crowd. One of the people from his entourage produces a graph chart and sets it up in the center of the ring. The corporate chill grabs the microphone. I got a message for Eastern Dragon. If you refer to the graph in the center of the ring, you'll see a quality projection of how much you're going to kick your A. The whole crowd erupts. Now, if you'll direct your attention to the Jumbotron. We all look up at the PowerPoint presentation titled, Kicking the Easter Dragon's A, Key Performance Indicators. The corporate chill takes a laser pointer and gives a lengthy presentation of just how and why he'll defeat the Easter Dragon. He showcases well-utilized clip art graphics. That was informative. The lights dim again and pan flute music plays. I think it's a pan flute. I'm actually not sure of what a pan flute sounds like. The Easter Dragon walks out to the cheers from the crowd. Aren't a pan flute a Central American thing? Hugo shrugs. Mm -hmm. Wrestling. The Eastern Dragon stands in the ring and grabs a microphone. Corporate Chill, it's nice to see you again. More cheers from the crowd. That was a good presentation. The clip art was a very nice touch. He points to Corporate Chill menacingly. I'm looking forward to a nice and exciting match. The crowd doesn't know what to do here. Oh. He's a... He's not the best at trash talk, but I promise he's one of the most talented wrestlers you'll ever see. The match starts and it's just as exciting as Hugo has hyped it up to be. The Eastern Dragon forms some ridiculous aerial stunts that make me concerned for his safety. He does what Hugo calls a moonsault from the top rope onto the corporate chill. The air in the stadium is electric as these two athletes lock arms and try to demolish one another. I can't help but get into it. The corporate chill pile drives the Eastern Dragon who looks passed out in the centre of the ring. He climbs up to the top rope and motions for the cheering crowd. Oh no, he's about to do his finishing move, the corporate ladder. The corporate chill poses at the top of the ropes. Eastern Dragon still isn't moving. Could this be the end of his young career? Get up, Eastern Dragon! You can do it, Eastern Dragon. The corporate chill launches off the top rope in a huge arch. He brings his elbow down to Eastern Dragon with full force of a Fortune 500 company putting local vendors out of business. The corporate chill pins Eastern Dragon and the match ends. Hugo sinks into his chair. Man, he should have won that. I sit down with Hugo. What a match! Mm. It was amazing. I, I think I'm a fan of wrestling now. Hugo throws me and our eyes catch. I'm glad. 
The event goes on and we have a little downtime for next match. We decide to just relax in our seats to avoid the middle schoolers. It's unlike they would ever notice in the upper level nosebleeds. Look up at the Jumbotron. Oh hey, they're doing the kiss cam thing. It zooms in on a bunch of cute couples we all do, who all do a quick smooch through raucous cheers from the crowd. Oh, so nice. And then it zooms in on Hugo and I. Okay, let's save. Whoa. What? What? What do I do here? Look over to Hugo and see the same mortifi mortified expression on his face. The entire crowd is chanting and neither of us know what to do. Uh, protect Hugo's identity? Let's get the crowd what they want. I slightly lean awkwardly tilt my head. Cheers from the crowd erupt all around me. I look back to jump and see a couple behind us making out with full force. Oh. Hugo and I turn beat red and sink back into our chairs. Oh, that's so cute! <sighs> so much for laying low, I guess. The result of the match thankfully goes off without incident. Hugo and I eventually laugh off the kiss cam and get back into the wrestling. After the show ends, he convinces me to hang back and let the rest of the crowd exit so we wouldn't risk running to Colin's awful group of friends. By the time Hugo and I walk into his chair, most of the wrestling fans have cleared out. The parking lot is surprisingly empty save for a beat up car parks for a beat up car parked a few spots down from us. We rarely keep an eye out for any stray middle schoolers as we hang out by my car. Man, that was an experience. Mm. Right? It's one of the things to watch on TV, but to be there in person is just Wow. Thank you. Again. I would never have gotten into that experience if this wasn't for you. It's just me and Hugo in front of the car, in an empty parking lot. I look down. Kinda of funny. About the kiss cam, huh? Um Yeah. It was super funny. But neither of us are smiling. We look into each other's eyes and I can feel the warmth radiating from our cheeks. We stare at each other just for a bit longer. A bit too long, sorry. Hey! Cool shirt! I turn around to see the guy in a hoodie and basketball shorts walking up to us, a duffel bag slung over his shoulder. I haven't seen one of those in years. Sweet man, Oh my god. Uh, yeah, I got it from a trade with this guy from streetmarts.net. I love that website. Someone always posts these awesome, super detailed breakdowns of matches in the indie circuit. Have you seen those? Names like, uh, uh, J, J, J something. Uh, JD Slammerger? Yeah, that's him. Those are my write ups. You're JD Slaminger? You're kidding me. Oh man, I'm such a huge fan of your work. So nice to meet you. The fan basically shakes Hugo's hand. Oh my god, he meets his favorite wrestler. That's so cute. Mm. I'm honored. Ah oh, man, wish I could stay and chat. I have so many questions. But I'll PM you on the forums if you ever want to talk shop. Absolutely. <laughs> he's so he's so smart now. Look at him, he's like so blushy. Last time I spoke to me, Hugo coughs nervously to get his attention again. Um... Is there any chance you could sign my shirt? The guy turns around and beams. Sure thing. Wait. It all finally clicks in place for me. You're the Eastern Dragon. <laughs> That's so cute. I love your work. Haha, <laughs> thank you, man. Eastern Dragon signs Hugo's shirt, waves goodbye, and walks into his car. I stand there with my mouth open the entire time. That was the Eastern Dragon. Oh. He, he likes my work. Dude, you're like friends with the Eastern Dragon now. He's gonna PM me! You can high high five. He's so excited he's shaking. Mr. Vega? Oh man. Colin's cronies just pop out of nowhere. Oh no, here we go. Huh? Colin, nice to see you and your friends all the way out here. What are you doing here? I don't see a library anywhere near us. Hmm. I... I was watching the Power Slam series with my friend. Ha! Mr. Vega likes wrestling? What a fart knocker. Actually, that's pretty cool. Shut up, Dilkweed. Nah, man. That's actually rad as hell. Who were you just talking to? Probably one of your stupid book nerd friends? Actually, he was talking to his good buddy, the Eastern Dragon. All of Colin's friends gasp. Guys, come on, he's lying. There's no way the Eastern Dragon hang out with these losers. Oh, oh yeah? Now to get his autograph, then. Colin's loser friends lose their minds, screaming their heads off. Colin is rubbing anger. Oh. See you in class. You, you can't say that. Who's going to believe you? You can I hop into the car to you have more children screaming. We laugh all the way home. Aw oh, Hugo You guys send the stairs of his home into wrestling and cave where we both crack a beer. We're both winding down after an exciting evening. So if you were a wrestler, what would your uh persona be? Hugo answers immediately. Oh I bet he's talked about this for ages. Yes. JD Slaminger, my forum name. I gotta represent my library my literary roots. My costume would be a tweed coat. My finishing move would be a catcher in the eye where I poke the opponent's eyes out and call them a phony. Well, um, I've given it a lot of thought. What about you? Hmm, I would be... Oh, okay, we need to save. 
Dad. I don't even wrestle, I just throw dad puns as you put until they submit. Nice to meet you, hungry. I'm dad, you know? I'm just no reason I don't actually know any wrestling moves. You know, I could teach you some. Uh, could we low back back just in case? Okay. Uh, Mary Baltwick. I come out in bright orange crocs on my bright red green and spotted spoon. My machine moves don't forget <laughs> my spaghetti. Where I peel my bone and force feed them delicious homemade meatballs. Oh, maybe this is just a choice where we're like, we can actually uh, pick whatever we want. I think this is one of those uh, choices. Uh, Bomb Clancy. Fish moves hunt for red stockwork where I accuse your wrestler of being a communist and defeat them in a long decades war. Okay, we can go with that one. I smirk. I'm game. You can I screw up in the center of the room ready to go at it. Hmm? I'll go easy on you. Oh, Bomb Clancy? Absolutely not. And therefore, before I know it, I'm on the floor. Hugo wraps his legs around me and squeezes. I can't move. Ah. This is a figure four leg lock. If I were playing full force right now, you'd be in extreme pain. He effortlessly twists around again and grabs my arm. Oh, good lord, he's strong. Any movement on my end is useless. And this is an arm bar. You're, uh, pretty good. Oh. You can tap out any time you like. Not, a uh, chance. You can flip around one last time and top me. He hooks his arm under my leg, presses his body down onto my chest. Mm. And this is me pinning you. Our faces are inches apart right now. I can't tell if I'm breathing heavily because of physical activity or because of something else. Uh, let's save. Let's go go for it. I lean forward and kiss Hugo. He seems just as surprised as I am. Oh, he really liked that. I pull back, a little embarrassed, but he kisses me again. He slowly raises his submission hold of me and cradles my face in his hands. He presses his forward against mine and we laugh. I guess we... Both win? I guess so. I pull him back in for another kiss. Do you have any more moves to show me? I think I might have a few. Oh wow, that's kind of cute. I really like that now. That date was super sweet. Especially for something that we weren't really interested in. I think he did a way better job than that of keeping us entertained the whole time. Yes! An S! Okay, so we can go ahead and actually speed forward to the very end, I think. Do 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 Let's just fast forward this so we can get all to do do. Let's fast forward past all of these. Oh Master Queen was there. That's kinda weird. Yeah, we can fast forward view, Craig, Brian Hazel. Uh, Joseph, Robert, Matt, Damien. I turn to see Ernest looking at me like he has something to say. Hey Ernest. Uh, thanks for being nice to my dad. Whoa. People are really mean to him sometimes. I mean, I guess I am too. But, um, he seems happy when you're around so, uh, that's cool. Oh <laughs> jeez Ernest, don't know what to say. See, Ernest was a little sweetheart all along. You know, I think people got you pegged wrong. You got a soft side. If you tell anyone I told you that, I'm gonna set your trash can on fire. There it is. Also, you don't know me. Before I can respond, Ernest walks away. Cloud of vapor trading behind him. Well, that was at least a little present. As the party starts to wind down, I take a seat in our back porch. The sun is setting and everyone seems to have eaten their fill. Amanda wanders over and sits down next to me. Get a party, pops! What can I say? I was inspired. So, I, uh, I also have something for you. For me? Why? Oh yeah, we did this for me. Yep, we did this already. There we go. Okay, here we go. Take a seat next to Hugo as last guest make the way out of the party. He's still wearing his shirt. Cool shirt. Thanks. Reminds me of a special night. So the secret's out, huh? Hugo likes wrestling? You know, I was really nervous to come here dressed like this, but everybody in the neighborhood, they were nothing but accepting of me and my hobbies. It turns out that Craig's a huge fan too, and Colin told everyone at school I made him into wrestling, but it actually backfired on him, and the kids have a weird sort of respect for me now. A few of them even asked me to be the sponsor for the wrestling club. Hmm. Not the Olympic wrestling. Wrestling that I like. I actually like both, but there's an important distinction, and I think you know which one I'm talking about. See? Just goes to show there's nothing wrong with being open about what you like. I agree. As long as I'm being open, I'm also a huge fan of very handsome dads who throw green, great parties for their kid and love a good word jumble. I blush. And I'm a big fan of... Quick, think of something clever. Hugo's? 
<laughs> this Hugo specifically? Hugo laughs. He raised an arm around my shoulders, pulled me in closer. He plants a soft kiss on my forehead. I'm happy I'm here. Me too. Hugo and I watched the sun dip low below the horizon together. Hey, do you think maybe later you can show me some new wrestling moves? Mm -hmm. Devran, how would I show you my pump handle pal driver? I can't help but giggle. What's that? You'll see. What? Oh, Hugo. Um. Alright. <laughs> Alright, guys. Thank you so much for watching. It's been a complete pleasure. We got the splash out for Hugo now, which is so amazing. We got the one for Joseph and we got the one for Craig. Uh, let me know in the comments who you want to see next. I'm thinking either Damien or Robert next. And if we come into the menu, we should have... Beautiful Hugo is all lit up now. Exactly. So I think we will go for Robert next. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. Goodbye.